Good morning children. Today we shall learn how heat can travel without any medium. Now we already know how heat flows through the matter. In solids, the heat flows by the process of conduction. During conduction, the heat energy is transferred from one molecule to the other. One molecule transfers heat energy to its neighboring molecule but the molecules remain at their positions only. They do not move. And what about liquids? The heat flows through the liquids and the gases by the process called convection. In convection, the molecules change position. Like when we heat water, first the water at the bottom heats up and it rises. Cold and heavier water molecules from the top sink down and then that heavy water molecules at the bottom heat up and rise. Thus heat circulates in the liquid and the liquid gets heated by the convection process. Now convection occurs in gases too. When we turn on an electric heater it heats the air near it. Then the hot air rises up and the colder air near the ceiling sinks down. Now that cold air gets heated and then it rises up. Then again some colder air comes down from the top. Thus air circulates and the heat is transferred by the process of convection. Now you may be wondering how do we get the heat from the sun. As we know there is no solid liquid or gas between the sun and the earth. It is just vast empty space or the vacuum we can say. Still we feel the heat of the sun so heat may transfer without any medium like solid, liquid or gas. When heat comes out of the body and travels without any medium that is through the vacuum that form of heat transfer is called radiation. The sun radiates out the heat. You know when the heat radiated out by the sun travels through the air, it doesn't heat the air as the radiated heat is not using the air molecules as the transport medium. Instead, it is the earth's surface which absorbs the sunlight. Certain portions of the surface absorb more than the other portions. So, the heat from the sun gets to the earth by means of infrared radiation that travels at the speed of light and hence the heat takes only 8 minutes to reach the earth from the sun. That's very fast, isn't it? Now, does the sunlight heat up objects? When the radiated heat falls on any surface or object, the heat gets absorbed. But not all the heat gets absorbed some of the heat gets reflected too. So, when the heat is radiated out by the sun, falls on any object, it may get absorbed or reflected. We know the more an object absorbs, the hotter it becomes. Black objects absorb more heat, while white objects absorb much lesser heat. That is why we wear black or dark color clothes in winters which absorb more heat and keep our body warm. Light colored or white clothes absorb less heat. So people wear white clothes in the summer. And this is the same reason why the base of cookware is colored black. So that it absorbs more heat from the flame and the cooking gets done faster. Solar heaters which are used to heat water need to absorb more heat from the sun and hence black metal sheets are used in it to increase the absorption of heat. You know black color absorbs more and also radiates out more and this is the reason why the radiator in the car engine is black. The radiator absorbs the heat from the engine to keep the engine cool. 
and it radiates the heat outside very fast. If we stand near the radiator after the car comes back from a trip, then we can feel the heat radiating out from the radiator. On the other hand, the inside of a thermal pot is silver and shiny. This shiny surface absorbs very little heat and reflects most of the heat. So the hot things remain hot for a longer time in such boxes. Same way, the room heaters have shiny silver surface behind the heating coil. You know why? The shiny silver surface reflects the heat very well. So it helps in focusing heat from the coil in front of the heater. So in nutshell, the heat can be transferred from one place to another place without any medium. And this process of heat transfer is called radiation. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.